Hey guys, Matt here. This is my review of Broken City. This movie is directed by Alan Hughes, one half of the Hughes brothers who directed Book of Eli. And this movie stars Mark Wahlberg, Russell Crowe with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Jeffrey Wright. Now, the plot of this movie is Russell Crowe plays the mayor. And he has Mark Wahlberg do some investigating on his behalf. And, well, there's a little twist in there and nothing's as it seems. And, well, if you haven't seen the trailer, I'm not going to go any farther. And so when the trailer to this movie came out, I was like, all right, Russell Crowe, good actor. Mark Wahlberg, also a good actor. But I was like, Russell Crowe, his chemistry with Mark Wahlberg might not be that great because usually Russell Crowe is good when he's with actors that are not his same age, but just older. Like when Body of Lies came out, I was like, ugh, I didn't really buy the chemistry because Leo DiCaprio is younger than him. Anyways, I was intrigued by this movie. And I was like, all right, it'll be interesting to see how they work together. And so I saw the movie. And honestly, this movie was garbage. This movie was terrible. This movie had everything going for it, and it could have been decent to good, but it just failed. Alright, the plot of this movie, basically, just, it was straightforward, and then instead of just throwing a twist in at the end, they just tried to throw in all these new conspiracies, and all these twists, and turns, and and all these things to make you go, oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? But unfortunately, this movie has way too many things in it. For one, Russell Crowe is the bad guy. Yes, you can tell he's the bad guy. That's not a spoiler. But he just is too tan. His accent is too much. There's just nothing about this guy that makes you go, oh, I like this guy. I hope he doesn't turn out to be a bad guy. Because he's like so straightforward. Hey, look, I'm the bad guy. And I have a New York accent. And then... The plot has too much foreshadowing. They're like, okay, we're going to focus on this little bit, but we're not going to focus on it quite enough because we're going to get back to it later in the movie. So we're going to just throw out all these little things that we really don't have to, like the murder of the girlfriend's sister. Okay, we're going to throw in these little, these little sexual tension things between Mark Wahlberg and his assistant. Okay, we're going to hint that Mark Wahlberg shouldn't drink too much okay, we're going to introduce this guy that just came out of nowhere. There's too many little things in this movie. It's just like, really? Why did they do that? This really could have been just a deleted scene in this movie. Then again, half of the movie would have been that way. As far as the acting goes, all I can say really is that everyone was okay. And that's really sad. The entire cast includes Russell Crowe, Mark Wahlberg, Catherine Jeter jones Jeffrey Wright, Kyle Chandler, but they're all just okay, because nobody blew me away in this movie. Russell Crowe, I already pointed out his flaws in this movie, he plays a bad guy. He's always been, to me, been better at a bad guy than a good guy, but he's too much. Mark Wahlberg, oh, you're going into this movie thinking, okay, he's going to be tough guy Mark Wahlberg like he was in Contraband. Nope, nope, he's just like a naive little boy that doesn't realize how deep and how far he's getting into things. And then when he does, when he finally realizes, hey, I might have the upper hand, that's when he turns on his, his Mark Wahlberg, his, you know, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you bad. That's when he becomes a tough guy. And there's no action scenes in this movie. He gets into one little tussle with a guy, but that's the scene from the trailer was like, that was an accident. And that scene was stupid. So if you guys out there looking for Mark Wahlberg action, you know, throwing down with this cuff, doesn't happen. All you ladies looking for Mark Wahlberg taking his shirt off, doesn't happen. He lifts up his shirt, but that's it. Catherine Zeta Jones, she's still attractive at her age. Doesn't do anything for me. She's just like a main focus for maybe 30 minutes of the movie, and then she just brings one twist up, and then she fades away. Jeffrey Wright, I like him as an actor, but if you want to see him do a good job, check out Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace, because he does a better job in those movies. The only two things in this movie that actually kept me interested were two minor characters. The first one was, her name is Katie in the movie. She played Mark Wahlberg's assistant. It was like if you took Kristen Bell and Rachel Nichols and put them together, you get this girl. She was super cute. But her storyline was the only storyline where they didn't go anywhere with it. It's like, okay, you're going to hint at this. You're going to hint at this. Oh, here's the end of the movie. And you didn't go there. Great. Way to waste my time. The second character in this movie, his name was Todd Donovan. 
uh, for all you Wire fans out there, he played Ziggy from The Wire Season 2. So his character made me go, is that what I think it is? So it was cool to see those two characters, but when they weren't on screen, I was just like, okay, what other conspiracy and twist and turn are they going to throw in there so it surprises me? Then again, it, they weren't really surprises because you could see them a mile away, but anyway, this movie was just terrible. It was so bad. The music, oh, the music was kind of cool. It sounded like a knockoff brand of the Halloween theme, uh, but that's that's really it. Uh, I'm running one to a five because this movie just was so not good. I'm giving it a 1.5. The last movie I gave that rating to was Priest, and it was better than this movie. So, if you want to see something good, I would check out Russell Crowe's straight to DVD movie, State of Play. I know it's kind of older, but it's still better than this. Speaking of straight to DVD, I've got to go make myself feel better now after seeing Broken City, so I'm going to go check out Death Race 3 and The New Universal Soldier. They're probably going to be bad, but I'm sure they're going to be better than this movie was. So until next time, guys, see ya.